Welcome to GTEC. Now we are going to see about radioactive displacement law. What is radioactive displacement law? The law of radioactive displacements, also known as Fejon's and Saudi law. In radiochemistry and nuclear physics, this is a rule governing the transmutation of elements during radioactive decay. It is named after Frederick Sode and Casimir Fejans, who independently arrived at it at about the same time in 1930. What is alpha decay? Alpha decay is one process that unstable atoms can use to become more stable. During alpha decay, an atom's nucleus shed two protons and two neutrons in a packet that scientists call an alpha particle. You can see the picture below shows you that the process of getting generation of alpha particle. So here the atom's nucleus get shed two protons and two neutrons in a packet. By there you can see the alpha particle gets generated. Since an atom loses two protons during alpha decay, it changes from one element to another. You can see the reaction over here that shows you X gives minus 2Y plus 2HE. This Z and A specifies the atomic number and the mass number value. Example is that radium 88 radium 226 is converted to radon 86RN222 the power of 4 due to alpha decay. You can see the reaction over here that 88 radium gives radon 86 radon 222 plus 2 helium atom. The structural representation is given over here that shows you that the radium is getting converted to radon with the emission of an alpha decay. Here the loss of two protons and two neutrons takes place. Hence the atomic number get reduces by 2 and, uh, and mass number decreases by 4. Now let us see about the beta decay. When a radioactive nucleus disintegrates by emitting a beta particle, the atomic number increases by 1 and the mass number remains the same. Example for that is the thorium. Thorium-234 is converted to protoactinium-234 due to beta decay. You can see the picture in the left side shows you the beta decay of a thorium 234 nucleus. So the parent nucleus thorium 234 is taken and a decay event is getting occurred over here. So while the decay event is taking place, protoactinium getting generator, by the time a beta particle get emitted over here, you can see it. So the beta particle is nothing but electron. So it is getting um, de uh, decayed. So this protoactium is again get uh, de excites and again protoactinium gets generated with the emission of photon. So this process is so called beta decay. When a radioactive nucleus emits gamma rays, 
only the energy level of the nucleus changes and the atomic number and mass number remains the same. For example, during the radioactive disintegration of radium, that is Ra226 into radon Rn222, gamma rays of energy 0.187 MeV is emitted. When radon returns from the excited state to the ground state, you can see the picture in the right side shows you the beta decay occurrence. Here the ra uh, radium Ra226 is uh, getting converted to radon by the process of uh, alpha ray emission and um, again this uh, radon is getting generated into radon by the time the gamma rays is getting emitted. So this is beta decay. Thank you.